in this video we will segment uh, lungs from uh, uh, wallaby embryo now this data set is from uh, uh, rob bryson uh, from uh, monash university here in australia and uh, what we will do is uh, this is an uh, optical ct uh, data set and what we'll try to do is segment these uh, lungs from the from the data set so let's just expand that control plus to make it bigger and then we'll tweak with the with the transfer function in order to enhance the the contrast here so let's use that okay now let's let's tag this press t to tag now let's increase the box size press t again Let's escape, reset, uh, we do want that part, yes. So, press tag, T, reset, let's just change this lambda, 20, make it more, uh, smaller here okay a bit more a bit more reset again now we don't want that we don't want to include this so let's mark that as background so shift and left mouse button so we are applying tag 255 here to say that uh, this is background now this is also background now press T press tag ok and here tag ok now let's just remove the the area that we had painted so I'm using right mouse drag and removing this now let's copy the the tags to the next slice I'll put the the background just to define the background here and then press T next slice press T again add a bit of background press T let's reduce the box size and see what the effect is we want this area as well down press T ok let us remove that painted region press T we need a bit of that press T remove that region T bring that down to say 15 tag 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 let's see bring it down to 10 tag okay now let's apply multiple tags 
uh, let's apply this operation over multiple slices so shift T and then forward press escape what we can do is we can restrict the operation to just this region here the tagging operation uh, it will go faster because uh, we are restricting the algorithm to just operate within this area especially if you have a, if the slice size is is large then rather than applying the uh, algorithm over the entire region uh, when you know that only a small part of that uh, data or of that slice is get going to get uh, affected then uh, you can just select uh, the bounding box in such a way that the algorithm is applied only in the in the required region and it will run a lot faster so press T again and you'll see that it's it goes a lot faster so we are now segmenting the um, the lungs as you can see it's not exactly proceeding um, as we want for example that region is is uh, ignored so let's add that region to the tag a bit more tag and then you can remove it um, then we can remove this region from the tagging operation go back next press T ok forward and we can remove bits and pieces while the process is going on we can stop here and then we can also proceed backwards Let us change the transformation such that we only take into consideration the the required region. So I am again painting uh, the background here and then tag backwards. We would like to take that into consideration. So I'm just updating the the background. Backwards. Now what we will need to do is, we will need to smoothen this, uh, so that it looks much, it looks nicer. So I had pressed shift T and uh, uh, then the operation, the tagging operation was applied to the to across multiple slices ok we are done now we need to go back and then just refine this tag here just 
this one here so let's just apply the tag here erase and then again shift T and apply it forward and then we'll, we'll also go backwards updating the background okay that should be enough uh, and then we'll also go backwards here let's see where do we start update this and then we can apply the, the process backwards for a few slices where we had missed that uh, part of the loop okay it's done now press escape remove the tags so this is our all done now here we have a spurious tagging so let's just press reset and remove those tags so press shift R and then forward we'll just clean up those tags okay so from here we'll go backwards again okay let's just shrink it a bit more tags and then shrink a bit more so instead of that sig 5 let's go 10 for example and then we'll apply the tagging process and so I'll just set the background okay next slice press tag shift T and then the process will continue I just update this just trying to make it run a bit faster go back and then just set um, let me just tag this tag and then remove tag shift forward apply the tagging process back and put it to 5 forward and then we'll also run backwards say from here backwards
start and we'll go to this part and we'll fix that as well tag and let's remove this and then tag forward and similarly we will run uh, it tag backwards to capture the remaining parts of the of the lung okay let's also run it backwards So shift T backwards Okay, stop uh, and maybe also add that stop and then we will also go backwards okay and I'll add this background tag so tag and then run it backwards stop double click escape copy tags here so we have got the lungs now let's apply smoothing operation on this so we'll just apply smoothing slice by slice smoothing uh, control zero and then shift Okay, so we'll apply smoothing operation over this this region here. okay so the smoothing parameter so let's make it say three so this is the parameter that will be taken when we apply smoothing or dilation or erosion operations so let me show you what happens when we apply dilate so this I just will apply on a single slice here so press D and this will dilate and then press E it will erode and then um, S is for smoothing. So let me apply smoothing over the entire range. Uh, now I want to apply it over the all the slices, so I'll just press Shift S. Again, I'll show you the help. So the capital letters is basically applied over multiple slices. So whether it is reset or paint or tagging or dilation or erosion or smoothing operation. So apply smoothing in forward direction so it will just apply smoothing and this is the parameter that will be used for smoothing and then we will apply smoothing over the the y axis uh, y slice as well but let's see the, the effect of this so we will now extract this region from the raw data set so extract tag region this is tag one now in this case we'll just dilate the tags before extracting the region so that we'll get this tiny border as well here so dilate the tag region uh, spread is just say two two uh, voxels 
and then image data and we will extract the lungs Now, the whole process has taken about 15, 15, 20 minutes. Let's load Drishti and see the output. So this is the lungs that we had extracted. And we can similarly apply um, erosion um, as well. Oops. And then zero point five. So you can see the the vessels here. So this is how we would extract um, say lungs from uh, the optical CT data. This is the Wallaby embryo and uh, as I mentioned earlier the data set was um, from uh, Rob Bryson uh, from Monash University. We can also apply smoothing over um, the z-axis or uh, y-axis. So, and it will give a, a smoother output. So, I'll, I'll stop the video here, and uh, in the next video, we'll, we'll see how to um, segment, say, human kidneys and. and